single now. Reveal yourself. Don't mind me just taking my shorts off. The best tan on the planet. If it's got the word express on it, I'm all here for it. I don't need no man to tan my back. Natural, holiday-esque, hands next, top tanning tip. Welcome to probably my most requested video ever. Finally, I'm getting around to sharing with you guys my full in-depth tanning routine. I get a lot of questions about my tan every time I upload a video. It is insane. Which tan do you use? How do you do it? Have you got any tips? So today I'm going to answer all of those questions in a nutshell and I'm going to talk you through my tanning routine step by step. I'm going to show you exactly what I do and hopefully by the time you get to the end of this video you'll feel like you have all the knowledge you need to be a golden bronzed goddess. This video is very kindly sponsored by the lovely team over at Centropay. I absolutely adore their tan and I can't wait to share with you guys everything I do to achieve this natural bronzed glow. I have the tan on right now and I love the colour of this. I love how natural it is. I feel like I'm looking really healthy. I look like I've been on holiday. Absolutely not. This tan came from a bottle my friends. If any of the products in this video take you fancy, don't worry. Got you covered. There's a link in the description down below so you can go and shop and treat yourself. Happy summer my friends. Let's turn 2020 around. <laughs> anyway Anyway, without further ado, let's hop into it and I'm going to show you step by step my tanning routine. I'm excited! I feel like fake tan has become a big part of my brand. Single now. Reveal yourself. <laughs> okay guys, welcome to my shower. Excuse the echoiness, but the first step of my fake tan routine, I feel like this is arguably the most important step, is preparation. If you fail to prepare, prepare to fail because exfoliating is so important. I never used to do this step when I was younger and I look back at my old self and think, Han, your skin was not ready. <laughs> so when it comes to exfoliating, I tend to do this at least 24 hours before. I've actually been exfoliating in the shower for the past two nights to remove all of my old tan, remove all of my dead skin. Your tan's gonna soak in a lot better if you exfoliate. So there are a few different tools, if you will, for exfoliating. My favorite, good old fashioned exfoliating glove. Then you also have mitts like this. This one kind of hurts a little bit though. It's quite rough or you can get ones like this which go around your back perfect for exfoliating those hard to reach places my friends you want to take any kind of body scrub put it on your tool of choice hop in the shower and exfoliate all your dead skin cells off off to the dead skin graveyard you go so i'm going to quickly show you how i exfoliate 24 hours before i tan don't mind me just taking my shorts off i hope you can't see my reflection <laughs> Ooh, the shower's cold Okay, the shower was obnoxiously loud, so here I am with my body scrub and my glove going all over my body. Don't forget your knuckles, don't forget your back either, your other arm, your leg. So the four main places to focus on, knuckles, number two, elbows, number three, knees, number four, ankles. I also shave 24 hours before I tan and I also exfoliate my face with a facial scrub too. All done. You're now exfoliated and shaved 24 hours before you tan. If you're thinking why do you have to do it 24 hours, the main reason is because if you do it just before you tan, your pores and your skin will be open so the tan will sink in deep into your pores and you could end up with little black dots all over your legs where you've just shaved and exfoliated. It's best not to tan on freshly irritated skin. So if you do it 24 hours before, it gives your pores time to close before you put the tan on. It'll go on a lot nicer. So it's definitely worth doing that. That's one of my biggest tips is prep your skin, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, hands next, top tanning tip. God, that was a mouthful. Put a towel down because I actually tan in my bedroom because I like to tan with a full length mirror. I find it so much easier. You can see what you're doing better. So I do tan in my bedroom, but I have a cream carpet. And I hate to admit this on the internet, but I have accidentally got fake tan on my carpet a few times. Luckily managed to get it out. Learn from my mistakes, my friends. Put a towel down before you tan. Voila. When I get my own place one day, you know I'm having a full length mirror in the bathroom. Every tanning addict's dream. <laughs> anyway, step two of the fake tan routine. It's really important to moisturize your skin before you tan. Now I know what you may be thinking, surely that creates some sort of barrier. Wrong my friend, it's gonna help your tan sink in nicer. I would recommend using a moisturizer that's either fragrance free, there's not much in it, just so that nothing reacts with your tan or the perfect moisturizer. You can actually get specific moisturizers for tanning. So this is the Centra Pay Prep and Maintain tan enhancing moisturizer. So I put this on before I tan and I also use this after I tan. 
on not straight away but whenever i get out of the bath or the shower i put a bit of this moisturizer on it keeps your tan lasting longer you don't get that tiger bread effect either if you keep your skin nice and moisturized and nobody likes a crusty knee Ugh. I moisturise all the driest areas of my skin, so my elbows, my knees, my ankles, any area that you don't want your tan to cling to, really, really important that you moisturise. Now, you don't have to do this, but I do also put a bit of moisturiser on both my hands. Just a tiny little bit I use on both hands. For me, this really helps my tan look nicer on my hands, a lot more natural. It doesn't cling to my knuckles as much. And your wrists, that's really important. Wrists are actually a secret struggle with tan. Your tan will spread out a lot more evenly. And that is what we're after, my friends. Even natural glow. Nobody sits in the sun and gets just tanned knuckles, do they? <laughs> also, another one of Han's top tips, make sure that you have no deodorant or perfume on anywhere over your body. Because fake tan and deodorant or perfume are not a good mix. So no perfumes, no deodorants, nice clean skin. I feel like a hairless cat right now. Kind of love it. <laughs> okay, step three of the fake tan routine. It's a fake tan step. Pretty important one. <laughs> so my tan of choice for today is the Saint Tropez Self Tan Express Bronzing Mousse. This is an advanced one hour tan, perfect for me. If it's got the word express on it, I'm all here for it. This tan is super handy if you're doing something in the evening and you've forgotten to tan during the day. Not talking from personal experience, but that might be the case as I'm filming this video. <laughs> I am popping over to a little garden, catch up with my friend later. So I do need to tan this morning and a super quick last minute one like this is perfect. So you can leave this on for one hour if you want a light tan, two hours for a medium tan and three hours for a dark tan. You already know which one I'm going for. Three hours, go hard or go home. So after I've applied this, I'm going to leave it on for three hours and then I'm going to rinse it off but the tan will continue to develop on its own for the next eight hours. We're going for a natural glowy vibe this evening. Okay let's get started. So the mitt that I'm using today is this one from Saint Tropez. It is double sided, it feels super nice. I love a double sided mix, it makes it so much easier. You can go this way, you can go underneath if you need to. Anything that's going to make my life easy, I'm so here for it. So give your tan a little shake, it is a mousse. I use one pump for every section of my body. <laughs> I personally start off with my arms. I'm not sure why. It's just I've always started with my arms. This mousse actually has a tinted guide colour so you can see where you're putting it. You can see if you've missed any patches. I personally love that this tan is fully customisable for your skin. Like, you don't have to choose, oh, do I get a light tan? Do I go for a medium? Do I go for a dark? This one is great for everyone. You can customise it to how dark you want it to be by how long you leave it on for. You don't need to sleep in it, so don't worry about your bed sheets. It smells incredible. It smells like you're sitting around the pool, maybe with a pina colada. You put in a bit of sun cream on and it smells lovely. It just gives me holiday vibes, you know? Remember to go in circular motions with your tan. I kind of rotate around my arm as well. Nobody likes a patchy underarm. And this tan also dries super quickly to the point where I'm putting it on this arm and this arm is pretty much dry already. You guys know I only promote products that I genuinely love and this is 100% one of them. I personally do a couple of layers on my chest. I feel like that bit of skin is a bit more supple on me. Is that the word? Works a treat. Perfecto. Brilliante. Okay, time for the baby giraffe legs. <laughs> One pump on your mitt for your lower leg. I forgot to mention, but this tan is also vegan. It feels like a very clean tan. One pump for your thigh. Notice how I also haven't done my knee just yet. For my knee, I'm not gonna put an extra pump on, I'm just gonna use what's left on my mitt. And you can do that for your feet as well, that is advised. However, I do a little pump, literally just that much for my feet. Excuse the nap bites on my legs, by the way. Is that not just the epitome of summer evenings in the UK? Right, where are we at? Arms, chest, legs, feet are complete. The next thing I'm gonna do is my stomach and my back. So I'm gonna do this off camera. I'm gonna quickly whip this little top off, get those sections done, and then I'll come back to you. By the way, when it comes to tanning your back, I tend to start this way, I go underneath, I go up the back, I swap hands, I go this way, and I've now got to the point I don't need no man to tan my back. I can tan my back myself. One of my greatest achievements in life, I have to say. I'm back. All of me is done apart from my hands and my face. This is my very glam tanning daytime outfit. Outfit of the day. So when it comes to doing my hands, lots of people use just what's left over on the mitt and you could do that. Sometimes I do do that. It depends how much is left on the mitt. Sometimes I will use one tiny pump. I then start with my left hand. So I rub it all over. Make sure you clench your fist, bend your fingers. That way 
way you won't have white lines across your knuckles my hand looks really freaky but make sure you go in between your fingers as well sometimes i will also go over with a brush there's nothing on this brush right now but if you brush over your knuckles it kind of gets the excess off but i think that's pretty much good for now i only use this brush for fake tan i never use this on my face and obviously make sure you're washing your brush and your mitt between each time you fake tan i then move on to my second hand then for my face sometimes if i'm feeling a bit lazy i have a confession i would just use what's left on my mitt but that's not recommended you shouldn't really put fake tan on your face because it can sink into your pores your skin on your face is a lot more delicate than the rest of your body so if you really want to treat yourself which is what i'm going to do today don't worry pores you are not getting clogged today i'm going to use this saint tropez self tan purity vitamins bronzing water serum this is also vegan this stuff is incredible i just put a couple of pumps on my fingers and then simply put it all over my face you don't need to rinse this off this is a lot more gentle on your skin this stuff actually contains vitamin c vitamin d and hyaluronic acid hyaluronic acid improves hydration and it also maintains skin elasticity elasticity is that how you pronounce it make sure you do it right into your hairline my hair is incredibly fair around the top but if you don't make sure that it's all the way in your hairline you are going to have a line around your head and that is not a cute look this stuff smells really fruity really lovely and you don't need to rinse it off your face either so my face is now done that's going to do its magic and also i find that because i wash my face so much the tan on my face tends to fade quicker than the rest of my body so topping it up with this little serum is perfect before you go to bed even mix it in with your moisturizer before you put your makeup on whenever you want you can just fit it into your skincare routine love that for us anyway i'm now going to go and let this work its magic for the next three hours might get a bit of work done might cuddle my puppy might have a bit of lunch and have a good time three hours later and it's quite clearly starting to work its magic. So I'm gonna go and rinse this off in the shower now, but obviously it's gonna keep developing for eight hours. So don't you worry, I will show you the final result after eight hours, but I thought I would just show you, this is what it's looking like at three hours. I just love this color, it's such a natural tan color. And for someone who doesn't tan in the sun naturally, this is such a good alternative for me. I've now rinsed the tan off, I've put a bit of makeup on, put my hair up in a bun, curled these front bits to look like I've made an effort. Wow, look at me go. I wanted to sit down and have a bit of an open chat with you guys. So, a lot of people have asked me in the past, why do you fake tan? Like, why do you feel the need to do it? And the main reason, to be honest, is because it does absolute wonders for my confidence. I cannot even describe to you. Before I tan, and eight hours after I tan, are like two different people. I'm the kind of person, I can sit out in the sun all day long and I would just burn. I never tan, ever. So to me, when I discover discovered fake tan. I think I first started tanning when I was about 12 maybe. It was literally like a miracle. I've been telling all my friends about this tan. Perfect if you're a last minute person. If you've forgotten to tan, don't be cancelling those plans. Put a bit of this on a few hours before you go. Bish bash bosh. So guys, it is now 8 o'clock. It has been 8 hours since I applied this tan. I'm about to head to my friend's house for a little evening chat. I am losing the light now so I've had to put my studio light on. But I'm sure you can still see how much more tanned I am than I was at the beginning of this video. I actually also filmed some before and after shots so I'll put those in here look at that difference honestly i love this natural holiday-esque just touch down back in london town kind of vibe whether you're an experienced tanner a self-tan addict like me or whether you just want to try it out for the first time i would highly recommend checking out saint tropez products like i said there will be a link in the description down below but anyway guys do subscribe to see my future videos let me know in the comments down below what is your favorite tanning product i want to say a big thank you to the team at saint tropez for very kind sponsoring this video and for creating the best town on the planet <laughs> but anyway thanks for watching i hope you're having a lovely week and i'll see you again soon with another little video bye guys love ya